What is up guys, I'm Rick Kakis, and today we had a very interesting weekly update for Destiny 2. I was up and ready to do another Grandmaster Nightfall, but it turns out it's the Proving Grounds again. That is a notoriously difficult Nightfall, but the reward is the Shadow Price instead of the Palindrome, so I don't expect a lot of people, especially if you did do the Proving Grounds originally and got the Triumph for it, to do it again this week. Don't know what's going on there. Remember, in terms of Grandmasters, next week on April 20th, you will be able to select which Grandmaster you want to do, including the two that we haven't had in rotation yet. But aside from that, something else happening next week is the launch of Guardian Games, the final event for Season of the Chosen. And today, a Twitter user was able to, as you can see right here, straight up somehow get into the official Bungie website, or at least it appears to be, that details what is going on with Guardian Games 2021. So obviously, spoilers ahead, but we're going to be diving into what's new with the Guardian Games event from this leaked information. And so let's get started. Now first off, as you may have seen, this is a free event for all players. You don't need the Seasons Pass in order to participate. And we start here with your chance for glory. The Vanguard has secured a ceasefire with the Cabal Empress Cadle, and humanity enjoys a brief moment of respite. Eager to celebrate guardians and lift spirits, Zavala sounds the call to competition and the class banners are raised around the tower. The guardian games have returned and glory awaits. Next up, we get a good look at the new armor sets with head of the class. Titans dominated the last guardian games, Darn right. Ever since, Hunters and Warlocks have been preparing for the annual challenge of skill, bravery, and resolve. Earn medals from Eva Levante by completing contender cards and triumphs. Each week is a new chance to be recognized as the top class in the games. And that's really interesting. I don't remember what contender cards are, but I certainly remember medals. Now, it actually clarifies what medals are, and it also confirms the return of laurels on the Bungie help page for this event seen right here. So it does say, under class-based competition, gain medals from EVA and complete them to earn points for your class's team. Under medals, it says players can pick up medals from EVA and complete them, turning uh, completed medals into the tower podium will increase your team's daily score. And then it also has a section on laurels so it says pick up laurels dropped by other players during Guardian Games to complete medals and advance your team's rankings. Laurels will drop in all activities except for Gambit and Crucible where they will be awarded after a match has ended. And remember with laurels and they're actually shown right here in this screenshot uh, for 2021. So again, it does seem like they're returning. They are are produced when, or at least last year, when you got ability kills on enemies and then you had to run over them to pick them up. And also you did have to have uh, your class item on to progress bounties and so on associated with collecting them. And it's interesting that triumphs are also mentioned. Will completing triumphs actually help your class become the winner or, just like last year, will completing triumphs be necessary to snag the reward, which we're going to talk about in a sec. Again, we're going to have to wait for a little bit more information on that. But moving on from there, something really interesting is the closing ceremonies, which take place from May 7th to May 9th. Now, this is actually what appears on the seasonal calendar. So Guardian Games is broken down into two sections, Guardian Games and then Closing Ceremonies. There wasn't a Closing Ceremonies, so to speak, for the 2020 Guardian Games. This is a new thing, and we get some information on that right here. So it says, for Closing Ceremonies, claim the podium. Each weekly podium ceremony will grant guardians with distinctive gold, silver, or bronze auras, which will last the rest of the week. The winning class will be recognized at the Guardian Games closing ceremonies, May 7th to 9th, complete with resplendent fireworks and a trophy displayed in the tower for all year long. So I guess in those last couple of days, 
it'll already be decided which class won, and then there'll be constantly fireworks going off for that class, which I mean, definitely seems like a bigger deal than last year, what the heck? But of course, the next question is, why are you doing all of this? What do you get from it? Well, we have this new section here for rewards. So it says, the spoils of victory. Winning is its own reward, but equipping a powerful exotic is even better. Earn the air apparent exotic machine gun and its catalyst, an exotic sparrow plus a legendary class items, one per class, two emblems, and a pair of shaders. Wow, Bungie's just throwing out all the junk you get. So the important part here is that air apparent. This was also the reward for the 2020 Guardian Games, the air apparent exotic machine gun. Now this machine gun is going to spin up like a minigun and when it's shooting out at opponents, you're gonna get a Colossus like arc shield that goes around you. You can move only very slowly when you are shooting it. So it's actually a pretty unique, fun, and I think actually pretty powerful uh, weapon, especially when you're just going around ad clearing and so on. So if you didn't earn it last year, this is your chance, but even if you did earn it last year, there is the new exotic catalyst. It does not currently have a catalyst available, so that's going to be brand new for this year. Very interesting to see what that does. Now, according to the database, and this may change by the time it actually comes out, it's going to improve the shield that you get, make it a lot tougher to break through which could definitely be interesting, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Regardless, the ability to produce orbs of power, because you're gonna be able to masterwork this weapon finally, is already quite a benefit. But moving on from there, we do have some additional information. Firstly, a track jacket is available as a bungee reward, as you can see right here, that you can earn during Guardian Games, as well as a pin associated with your favorite class. Moving on from there, in the Eververse section, we have Glow Up. Represent your class with pride with a new Guardian Games Universal Ornament set featuring glowing class items, plus a new weapon ornament for the heir apparent supporting exotic emotes and more. So when we did see that heir apparent, it was sporting that new exotic ornament, and the armor set that we've been seeing does seem to be that Eververse set. However, again, it does mention that glowing class item when we do see that, you know, especially the glowing-ist part is, you know, for the hunter, it's the uh, cape, for the titan, it's the mark, and for the warlock, the bond. However, there are some additional glowing elements as well. And then lastly, we just have a bunch of screenshots of all of the Guardian game stuff. So we have some great different looks at these armor sets. We have a look at a brand new uh, legendary and or exotic ship right here. We also have a look at probably a new exotic sparrow. And then lastly, a new exotic ghost shell right here with the tennis ball. I actually really like that one. And so guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, found this informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. that's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.